Okay, so we're going to do a quick, quick review for the slope intercept form exercise on Khan Academy. Here they give questions where they um, give you two points and a picture of the two points right here. They plot them for you with the line and they want to know what's the equation of the line. Now, this line is a special case, but let's just talk about the general strategy here. The general strategy would be probably to use the two points and find the slope. Now, we could use the picture, and we'll go to that in a moment. Let's use, also use the formula because that might come in handy for you. So slope is equal to the difference in the y values, negative 2 minus negative 2. And I'll, I'll make this my, my x, x2, y2 point. So I'll start there. Then this is my x1, y1 point right there. We subtract the y values. Now the x values follow, right? Because slope is delta y over delta x. And that just means subtract your y values how much did the height change, and then subtract your x values, how much did that left right distance change? So we get negative one minus negative five, and what's gonna happen? Well, negative two minus negative two is zero, and negative one minus negative five is four, but zero over anything is just zero. So here the slope is zero. What does that mean? Well, now I wanna look at the y-intercept, and you can see it here on the graph, right? If your slope is zero, right? Um, and we'll get to that in a moment. So it's, it's uh, 0, negative 2. We can also figure that out in an equation here. If y equals mx plus b, so 0x, and notice they want us to write an mx plus b format, so you would enter a 0 in here, uh, plus b. We know x and y, though. They gave us points. Let's plug those in. Negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1 is x, so negative 1 times 0 plus b equals negative 2. And that means b equals negative 2. And you might think about this, you know, any point you plug in, if I plug in negative 5, negative 2, that would be 0 times negative 5 plus b is also equal to negative 2. It's, no matter what x values I plug in, that's always going to be multiplied by 0, right? So those cancel out. And b is always going to be equal to the y value of all the points, which is always the same, or negative 2. So this equation is y equals 0x plus negative 2, we would probably write this as y equals negative 2, right? Because 0 times x cancels out, and adding negative 2 is usually written as just negative 2. So this is a horizontal line, and the equation is y equals negative 2. So if you recognize that, right, that you have a horizontal line here, you might know right away it's just y equals negative 2. Whereas if you had a vertical line, let's say over here, this one right here, if it kept going, this would be the line x equals 2 for almost all of the same reasons here. Now the slope is undefined, it's a vertical line, uh, but you can test out two points on it and quickly realize that that is the case. If you had these two points, this is 2, 4, and 2, 2, just by trying to find the slope, you subtract the y values and x values, you would get negative 2 over 0. And this is a problem because you can't divide by 0 and the slope is, is undefined. So these vertical lines are undefined, but it's called x equals 2 because for any point on this line, the x value is always 2. Um, but you can also use the picture for these. I mean, uh, if you have these two points, you can realize, well, I don't have any rise at all. There's no delta y as I go from one point to the other. The only thing changing is x, which means your delta y is always 0. It's never going up or down. Um, and you can also see the y-intercept there, so you want to name this by its y-intercept. You can use the picture for all of these. Um, there are some other questions though you might come across and they mix it up, but I'll show you one more. Here they, they show you a table and they want, you know, they want to know the equation of the line. The key for me right here is the y-intercept. When x is zero, that's your y-intercept. So we have that already, y equals mx minus three over two, or plus negative three over two. Um, and, I, and I want to get an equation here, so I want to look at the slope. So what happens, how does this, you know, what's happening to our, our slope as we move on. Well, as x is increasing, right, these values are getting higher and higher and higher. What's happening to our y values? Well, negative 6 goes to negative 9 over 2. And you can think, well, what's that? Well, 2 goes into 9 four times with 1 over. It's negative 4 and a half, right? Now I have the decimal negative. Well, let me put that right in here. A negative 9 halves that equals negative 4.5. Five. So when x increased by 3, delta x is 3, what's our delta y value? 
Well, our delta y is equal to uh, going from negative 6 to negative 4.5. That's up 1.5. So y goes up 1.5 for every 3 on the x. And you can simplify this, right? If you want to simplify your slope, it's 1.5 over 3. 3 goes into 15 5 times. So it's going to go into this, right? You can think of it this way, it can go to this 0.5 times. So this is just a half, right? Because 1.5 over 3 is, is a half because 1.5 is half of 3. Anyway, that's our slope. So now you have an equation. y equals 1 half for every x minus 3 halves, right there. And you can test it out as you go through them. The point is, if you're given a table, if you can find the y intercept quickly, it's very helpful. But really what you need as a strong basis is slope. Pick any two points and and follow delta y, delta x, and you'll, and you'll know what the slope is, and then you know the equation. All right, thanks.